Dr. Fagisa and Professor TJ and her assistant Nelly Welly. And today we're going to do a fun experiment. Are you ready? <laughs> but before we start, let me tell you something about this experiment. This is an amazing experiment because it is so incredibly simple. It works with any kind of toothpick or matchstick made from wood. This experiment shows capillary action. Capillary action occurs when a liquid moves through something that is full of little holes, like a sponge. This is what we will require. Toothpicks, a shallow dish or tray, a dropper, food color. And remember kids, always do this experiment with the supervision of an adult. Safety first, certainly. Now you ready? Yes. Let's start. Yes. So first, take this toothpick and then you see how cut? I'm going to snap it in the middle. Uh -huh. Like that. Yes? Yeah. So I want you to snap this toothpick like that. In the middle? Yes. And don't break it completely. Just let it like bend. that? No, let me show you with this one now. Okay, snap it. Yes, like that. Very nice. Snap another one. Like that. And then, uh, can you see? Mm -hmm. So how many do we have? Four. Okay, fantastic. Then now, what I want you to do, yeah, I want you to take with the dropper, and then in the center, well, the toothpicks, I want you to drop some of the food color there. Gently, just one drop, huh? One drop. Yes, start with one drop first. Gently in the middle. Add another drop. Now watch what happens. Can you see the toothpicks moving? Yeah, oh my god, my eyes. Can you see? Watch. Can you see the moving? Yeah. Can you see the moving? Exciting. Okay, just add a little bit more. Most types of wood swell when wet and shrink as they dry out. Water rushes into the broken parts of the toothpicks, causing it to expand and open out the V-shape. This becomes more obvious if the activity is repeated with just one toothpick. Arranging the toothpicks in a circle causes the ends of the toothpicks to come into contact and push against each other so that the whole arrangement opens out into a star. I hope you at home were able to carry out this experiment. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye!